So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Cam. y'all so i get questions all the time about how to make a youtube or how did you start your channel or how do i go about going about going about this so i finally am putting together a little video and um please comment down any questions that you have and i'll try to make another video specifically on that if it's something big but these are going to be five steps to making a YouTube. So it is a pandemic right now. And yes, the pandemic is dying down and I'm sure things are going to get more out and about. But as of now, virtual everything is starting to be a trend and I'm sure it's going to stick around for a long time. Everybody's starting a business and it's not other because they have time and the opportunities to do it and what a better time to do a black owned business than right now so step number one figure out a name so what are you going to call your youtube channel what is your tag what is something that you're popular for what's something that's going to click with the people personally my youtube name is kp cam when i was younger um one of my close close friends started calling me kp which is my initials my name is kendra Payne, and that was just like started to be my alias so like for my instagram it's called call me kp so that's just like my little thing now so everybody calls me kp or whatever so i thought you know what's gonna go with kp because that's like my alias so what's something that's gonna apply to this channel so i didn't want to keep myself in one box so you know some people say it could be like like for example it could be like kp beauty kp vlogs something like that i wanted to make it vague so i chose kp cam because you record on a camera and you know we live and all of that. Y'all y'all know what I'm saying. Cam, short for camera. Da, 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 and that's where we at right now. Step number two, you need to figure out what you're going to post. Okay? So, what do you want to show your viewers? Or what do you want to display yourself as? What do you want to put? What type of content do you want to put out? Do you want to do comedy? Do you want to do lifestyle? Do you want to do advice? Do you want to do discussions? Do you want to do um, pranks? Do you want to, like, what do you want to do? Are you want to be a comedian? Do you want to just share your life with the world? Like, what is, what is something that you're going for? And once you find that out, then when you're making content on your channel, it'll be smooth sailing or not even just smooth sailing but um you can use your creative juices because if you're trying to get on youtube you already know you got to be creative let's be real so use your creative juices and put together some content to put out for the people i consider my youtube a lifestyle platform so i do do more so vlogs but if i feel like it's a video that can apply to you all i help you all then i would definitely put that out there as well so it's really up to my discretion and i will say it can be hard sometimes to figure out what type of content you're going to put out but that's what comes with making a youtube sweetie number three Make sure that this is something that you want to do and not something that you need to do. So when I say that, I mean, when you make your YouTube, you want to make it because you genuinely want to put out content or maybe you enjoy making videos or maybe you have a bigger cause into making people laugh, making people smile, whether it's motivation, encouragement, any of that. You have to have a motive behind your channel. You have to have some type of drive because you're, gonna, you're going to figure out really really fast that you have to have some type of motive to continuously post which gets me to my fourth step 
be consistent with your YouTube. So if this is something that you really, really love to do, something that you want to do, something you aspire to do, in order to really make this a YouTube channel, you have to put out content. Which means consistency is going to be the biggest thing to boost up your following, make your channel known, definitely post, like don't just post on here, post on Instagram, post everywhere that you have a following so that when it comes down to putting out your content, it's not just you and your bestie watching your videos. Then step number five, figure out how you're going to record, okay? And that's simply it. When it comes to editing and all of that extra stuff, I, I know people love to have extravagant intros and editing and putting in different clips and making sure the quality is 100%. If you really, really have a drive to start a YouTube, you just start it. It could be on your phone. It could be on your tablet. It could be on anything. Just make sure you have a way to record your video so that we can see it, honey. How else are you going to put your content out if you don't record, okay? So anytime you have an opportunity to record something that you want to record, something that you want to put out, just pull whatever you're going to pull out and do it. Get you some, right now I'm using a mix of natural lighting and lighting. It doesn't cost money to start a channel, okay? It don't. Just start putting, you know, some time and some effort into it. And I promise you, you won't regret it. You never know who is going to like your videos. You never know who's going to love seeing you post stuff. So, just get you a little setup. See what you want the aesthetic to be. Like, this is real plain and simple. I probably could put something in the background or something like that to add something to it. But you really just have to have a vision of your channel and you just make it happen. Speak it, manifest it, and boom! You got a channel. And you just never know who's going to support you. Just because your friends or, like, people that you follow are always not supporting you. Strangers! Support you. I don't know these YouTubers that I watch. They are strangers to me, but yet I watch their videos because I love their content that they put out. But they have to love what they do so that I can love what they do as well. You have to convince people that this is something that they should watch. And that's all I'm going to say. That's a wrap. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, sis. But you need to get with it or get gone. Go ahead and press that subscribe button right now. Because I know you're not subscribing. I'm just coming over here just to get some advice. Press that subscribe button. Put on my post notification because YouTube will not notify you when I post. How disrespectful. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Comment down below any other videos y'all want me to do to give you advice about making your YouTube because do it now. What are you waiting on? I know you want to be a YouTuber. And also, um, y'all go follow me on Instagram, okay? Follow me on Instagram. Follow my business page. Follow my YouTube page. And you know, so you can get keep updated, sweetie. Because I have some stuff in store. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Do sis.